Hi guys, another quick video here. I picked up yet another thing. It's another UPS. I found it at, uh, I believe Goodwill a few months ago. I think I paid about six or eight bucks for it. This one is a Smart UPS 700, which is a, which is a better model than my current back UPS 200. This one's about the same age as that. It still has the original little sticker up here. Pause the video if you want to read it. But this one's a little bit more complex because you have this little battery meter on here that tells you the battery life. I think if you read the label up here, you would know what some of these are. I think, uh, let me read. That's to tell you if it's overloaded, that one is to tell you that's on battery, and that one tells you to replace whether the battery is bad or not. This one will tell you if there's a voltage reduction. I'm guessing if, like, a brownout or something. That one will tell you it's online, and that one will tell you it's boosting the volt. Oh, wait a minute, the volt... Okay, I'm getting mixed up. The voltage reduction is for if the voltage spikes, and this is for if the voltage sags. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little bit more complex. Before I open it up. Let's move up right over to the back. This one has four ports. I mean, uh, four plugs instead of two. We have a uh, little serial port for hooking up to your computer. Now, you can't use any old no modem cable for this because I've heard online that that's what using one will just cause this thing to automatically shut down but so you have to use a uh, cord the <clears throat> APC puts out or uh, there's also some third-party cords out there but or if you're if you have a good understanding of it you can try to make your own cord Whatever works for you, and this is for, I forgot what this slot is called, but it's for, there was a few different expansions for these. I wish I knew, if I wish I could remember what this was called. I think it was Smart Card or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but don't be rude about it in the comments. Okay. Now when you... Now I'm just going to show you guys quickly uh, what happens when these things have a dead battery. You can plug it in. And when you press the power button, nothing happens. Nada. Zip. Well, that does not mean that it's dead. On some UPS models like this one, if you have a completely dead battery, in this case no battery at all because I took it out, it won't boot because it needs a working uh, battery with at least a decent charge on it to boot up. Just to prove it to you, I already proved it to myself. What I'll do is, I, well before that, let me show you guys something. The old, I still have the old battery set. This one takes two 12 volt, nine, well, seven amp hour uh, batteries, but I bought a couple of nine amp hour because they hold slightly more. And they're wired, I believe this is in series. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, this is the original battery. You read right on the bottom. It has a date code of March of 1998. This is not coming up clearly, but I guarantee you that's a 3 it's pointing to. So March of 1998. Yeah. So these are going on 18 years old now. So yeah, definitely bad. What I bought were... Couple of these uh, Power Sonic 12 volt 9 amp hour batteries, slightly more than the factory spec, but the same size. So 
it doesn't really matter. I'll probably be using some uh, double sided tape to tape these together and I'll reuse this little cord right here. Since this didn't come with them. And I'm pretty sure you're going to have to do that with mostly any kit you buy. Unless it comes from APC, which their kits are <laughs> through the roof, to say the very least. So I'll tell you what, um, I actually forgot to bring a Phillips head screwdriver, so I'm going to pause the video right here and I'll be back when I have one. Okay, I'm back. I actually ended the panel because I doubt you guys wanted to watch me, uh, well, you don't want to watch me drop things like an, like an idiot, but you also probably didn't want to watch me unscrew this, especially since how jumpy this iPad camera can be. So I'll just try to do this one-handed. I'll just show, I'll link these two batteries together. Um, okay, please bear with me. There, got these two batteries linked. Now, if I just gently put down this first, sorry about this view, I can't, I don't really have anything to prop this up, but if I push this in, and plug this in, oh Jesus. You heard that spark on camera. If you're wondering what that spark was, that was the capacitors charging in this. You've got to be careful for that. That can sometimes catch you off guard. But now that that's plugged in, if I go to plug this UPS in, which I don't recommend you do as I do, you heard a beep come from it. Now if I press... No. Hold on. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Back, sorry for a second. I thought that... Something went dead or something, but nope, it works. I press. If you hold down this power button, you have to hold it down for a few seconds. It comes to life, and it starts charging the battery. So yeah. Let's see. I think that was just some sort of test or something. I'm not sure. But we can power this off for right now. Because I've got a little bit more work to do on it, but I just wanted to make this quick little video on this. Sorry if I rambled a little bit or if the camera view was a little bit unbearable. I'm still working on trying to get, to get a new camera because this iPad camera sucks. It really does. Anyways, thank you for watching and... Yeah.